Welcome back, my Alpha Squad, to some more League of Legends. Today we do a pretty oh, interesting bot lane again. Because me and Psychonet decided we wanted to go. Hey, why is it not on me? Canon Timo bot lane. Because why? Because we can. I'm gonna I've been having a lot of fun on Kennen and I wanted to see how fun it would be to play him in a normal game. And what better place to do that than bot lane? Also, we have the. On our the rest of our team, we have Nasus, we have Echo and Seraphine. They didn't have an issue with our selection, which is always nice. Then the enemy team we have Nautilus, Varus, Zenzao, Diego, and Shivana. The Nautilus already when the game started was like, yeah, take this, take these stupid um, bot lane picks to blind pick instead of draft games. So I guess it's time we show them what we can do. I mean, yes, it's going to be a difficult bot lane. Timo is short range, Cannon is short range, Nautilus has a lot of CC, Varus has also a CC, and Varus has a lot of poke range. So we're just gonna have to play it safe. Cannon can stun, but only if he hits enemies three times, so there's that. Because, so I have my Thundering Shuriken where I just throw a Shuriken at them. My electrical surge, where every fifth attack does um, an additional magic damage and adds a stack to my passive. Then we have the lightning rush, where I dash through um, champs and minions and add a passive stack to them, also do damage. Which if I add three passive stacks to someone, then it stuns them. Yeah, as I said, this, this is going to be a rough one. Line. And then my ultimate is I unleash a magic storm of lightning that rains down. And in this lightning rain, all nearby enemies, every 0.5 seconds of light, they get struck by lightning. This successive hit still 10% increased damage for each hit the enemy has already suffered. Which is pretty nice, especially if you have a lot of AP. I'm not gonna step up because obviously not this is like not gonna be the Varus now. But yeah, he's an energy champ that scales with um, AP, so we're gonna build Rift Maker for the sustain in fights. Love that extra movement speed. Technically, Night Harvester and Second Cosmic would work really well with Cannon, I think, with the extra with the 100% movement speed, because that would give me just even more movement speed. We both have teleport because we knew this was going to be a rough thing. Our best bet most likely is going to be to try and get the Nautilus to dive us on the turret. Hello Varus.
We believe in our bot lane. Probably shouldn't have gone in with all the um, minions there, but eh. I thought I could get in the bush fast enough so that I can at least try and fight the bears. Because very, uh, uh, Kenan does a surprising amount of damage. In all honesty, there's a Vigo here. Wait, Echo, no, we can't follow you into the fight. But we can get this Viego, though. This is a bad fight. Echo needed to keep following us on the Viego. Goodbye, Echo. Yeah, the issue there was that the Echo just changed target mid-fight. If there's in Zao there, it's not the best choice. Of course, Seraphine can't follow up. She's Seraphine. Like, honestly, our plotting choice. Not the issue here. Okay, version. Not this is gonna mid. Wait, not this is mid. We can go in this uh Paris. Go go go. He has been stunned. Look at all that damage. I just hit him with three abilities. Wait, Echo, no, we're not there. No we are good there, we're not gonna get baited. Killing spree. Kennen is a champ you don't really see often because I think like he's a top laner, yet I don't think he can be a good top laner though. Mm -hmm. So I rush um, Kennen benefits from attack speed because after I exit my lightning rush, I also gain 40% attack speed for 4 seconds, which helps uh, stack my um, passive faster with the every fifth attack. This is tall. Which means if Vera shows up, then he's gonna be alone.
I'm gonna wait here behind Varus. So if he steps up, then me and Tina can just one shot him. I have my ult activated. Riego goes down. Does the not of the sea go? Yes, not this goes down. Oh. That's what he gets for roaming. Do they have peril? Yes, they got peril. We get played here though. Be gone this way. Not the best play. It's the back thing. That's okay, I guess. Goodbye, Notice. Goodbye, Viego. Shut down. Killing spree. Goodbye, Serpy. And then again, I have most of my Nash's TP. Drake's up so very much like you kinda wanna do this. Oh, I got the... there you go. Team of God Nautilus. And an ult is kind of broken, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if Ludens is the best choice for this game, but eh, it's okay. Red Team's turret has been destroyed. I need to have my full Nash to keep now. I'm just gonna move back to lane as fast as I can. Luckily, I don't have to worry about mana or anything. I just have to manage my energy. Oh, they're gonna free man bot. Great. Red team's turret has been destroyed. No, this isn't here. We can actually go on this pickup. Yeah. 
don't think the flash was the best idea. You got the various of these. This isn't the best game. Because our mid lane is literally three levels behind. We can still turn this game around. I'm not doing too bad, I'm 3 and 5, but I'm supported, so it's not the worst. Goodbye, Nopis. Goodbye, Diego. I had to kill my own teammate. Nessus, do not. Goodbye, Varus. One ult, one kill. Oh, I never told. I never said my runes. So my runes are Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, and Ultimate Hunter. So many Chavana. Then Presence of Mind and Drum. Like I got the Herald, which is good. I'm gonna base so I can start building my Rift Knight. Timo, no! Yeah, my leeching here at least. Yeah, this isn't the best game for for little Timo. I'll go in top lane most likely. Oh there's a Varus in bot. I can I can take out the Spheris. I'm pretty sure. Just pushed and ran. Okay then. Uh, Drake's up though. Uh, me and Timur can do this. Yeah, they're all soft, so we can do. Oh, we can ground bears. We can ground bears. Go, Timur, go. Got a slash too. I'm definitely gonna want to come down for Drake, so we need to be careful here. Yeah, Nautilus and Viego. Timo, no! And Zinzao, that's a lot of knockoffs. I couldn't have been fun. Sadly, we have to sacrifice Timo, but um. Not something we really can control. There's too much uh, CC with those three. If we give them Drake, we can just hard push mid or take top. Yeah, we can take mid. Oh, 
And this is not a fight we win. You need to just leave. Godlike. Not the safest place to back, but I did get out. And now I'll have my blasting one from my Earthmaker. Uh not this Nasus is screwed. Got that turret though. Yeah, everyone's going for Nasus right now. He might get out though. Or not. He's out. Okay, we can take uh, bot turret here. Honestly, I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared of this, Shabon. I am scared of the others collapsing on us, though. Shivana Varys, not scary. Viego and Zell, not as do be scary, because they have a lot of CC. Hi, Viego. Say hello to my little son. I kind of flashed for that, but fine. Hello. Goodbye, Shivana. Now just the verse. And I'm out of here. Just the two little Yordle bros. <laughs> You're honestly not doing that bad. 5, 5, 11, 4, 6, and 9. Red team's turret has been destroyed. I mean, Nautilus is 0 and 4. Huh. And he only has 7 assists. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Hi, Nautilus! Get the cook. Goodbye. I do have my Rift Maker. So I do a lot of damage. I should play energy champs more so I can go to fun AP items. Oh, Nash is just doing damage. Nash is just fucking beating. Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to swear, but it kind of did feel that way. I one shot the line. He might get most of this turret. I don't know if we can get all of it. Now we can get the whole turret and then back off. Go, go, go! Run, little team, as fast as those wobbly legs can get you. I, th I think my speed up is better than this. What does it do with the level up, though? Pull down energy cost. Wait, the energy cost? I should have been. Nah, I like the damage. Yeah. The attack speed it also gets increased. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Once I reach level 18, and I'll be a tiny assassin. I'd be the lightning assassin that I'm meant to be. Purple Pikachu! And uh, this is not the best fight. Oh, Seraphine, why? Nope. Nasus ulted me, because I am the scary one. I mean, not his ulted me. Teemo, no! Run, tiny little Teemo. Oh well. They have two base because Echo got most of their base. Maybe Echo can rush down Drake? I 
they have supers going in, so it's not like they can really push too hard with that Baron buff. And I am doing Death Cap next because I need, I just need more AP. Right now, I don't care about Magic Pen or anything because it's just the Varus that has Magic Resist right now. Maybe I should be afraid of the Shavana. Nautilus is two levels behind me. I really don't know what Seraphim's doing. Oh wait, we're at the same level. Never mind. They have three traits, two or one. Which is not good. You can honestly collapse on the collapse on this Viego. That's if he pushes. No, I didn't get that one maybe. Um, what are they all doing here? They'll just run from the cannon ult. Okay. Goodbye, Vega. He just got popped. There's a sin down there. I'm gonna go defend base. Just so that we don't have supers coming in. Yeah, we can't end. We need. We're, we are going to need Baron's Man. They have really good, like. I wouldn't say wave here, but they have good, like, pushback ability. They do have a second large rod. Hmm, yes. The largest of rods. Look at the Nautilus's vision score compared to mine. My vision score is shit, to be honest. Because I usually get at least uh, two vision per minute, but it's been difficult in this game. Because I have to be kind of everywhere. I want to cheese them again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. This isn't a good fight. Goodbye. We ace them, now we can Baron. Seven seven sixteen. 
way better score than the Nautilus's 0714. And I'm not talking about the fact that I have uh, kills, I'm talking about the fact I have more system than he does. I'm telling me that my cannon is not working. Uh -huh. Seraphine just needs to wait here. I'm kind of melting this. I'm gonna base, I have my death tap now. Like, magic pen wouldn't be bad. Usually third item I build, um, like, void staff. But with this game, I don't think it's gonna go much longer. I just want to get as, as much AP as I can. I mean, the Nautilus still doesn't have much resistance. None of them do, except the Diego. And he has an edge of night, too. Vega is literally the only one that's building, like, against my Teemo's damage. Hi, Shavanna. Oh, they're all here. Ooh, Teemo, getting junk. You need to use this, um... What? He keeps ulting me. Saving the Teemo from the Zendel. Because screw this and though. I'm gonna go for this Viego, I don't care. Goodbye, Viego. Eight, eight, and eighteen. If they hard push, they can just end now. The only one that's gonna be out is an office, and he can too. But yeah, this is how you. This is what you do when you wanna do something fun and just show, like, a hater like this office who was. He still didn't build a magic resist. Oh, naughty boy. You are not my naughty boy. But anyway, this was a fun little um, cannon support game. Okay, the the little Yordle bot lane. Just having fun, you know? That's all we wanted to do in all this. We just wanted to have fun in bot lane, and we did. A nice little um, S game on cannon. Cannon is a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're not part of the Alpha Squad already, why not? It's an awesome squad to be a part of. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more duo bot lane games with me and Psychonef or anyone from the uh, Gaming Goons for Fun squad. Just Gaming Goons for Fun. We are a squad, but the whole name is just Gaming Goons for Fun. And I'll see everyone next time.